Good afternoon, everybody. It is Meteorologist Age Buff Forecast, you guys, and welcome back to the video. And this is actually a very, very exciting video. This will be the first video here uh, ever since again after um, the 2019 winter. This will be like the first video uh, of a winter storm. We are finally having possibly a major winter storm to occur in the West this weekend. It's actually very exciting because we can have finally possibly a sign of finally fall coming and then even winter guys i'm actually very excited to again it's gonna be possibly a very big snow event this weekend again guys this is not even october yet and again yesterday was the first day of fall so again i guess we are seeing these fall signs coming in so yeah i'm honestly very excited but if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe especially at this time because we're gonna have a lot more uh, obviously snow events coming in in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that and also with the tropical update and without further ado let's get into this winter storm video so we are going to be looking at the national weather right now could we actually finally have winter storm watches okay this is not the first time we've had watches we've had actually winter storm warnings already but those were very very small events of snow but this one's actually gonna be a very big one i might even have another update maybe by the weekend this won't be an everyday video because again it's not like a hurricane or anything but we're definitely gonna be seeing possibly a huge event for the west even all the way in nebraska and south dakota we can actually have some snow there but again we have winter storm watches in effect for these areas out here into northern montana so basically it's just those national forest areas really not really any big cities there let's just try to go in here really quick uh, there's not really major big cities, not Helena, Billings, um, Bozeman, none of those uh, really areas are in close to that. It's just those northern Montana area near Canada. But again, we are going to see a lot of Mount Snow, and then that Mount Snow will become a lot more widespread to possibly the plains areas of Montana getting snow and all that here. I'm trying to trying to zoom in on this, but it's actually not loading for uh, finally. So we have... Um, we have Cut Bank here. We have uh, Kalispell. We have Conrad, Montana, in those areas again. Again, we're finally gonna have some winter areas, and we also have some mountain uh, mountain front over the Plains Valleys today. And again, we will have um, again we're gonna have some also some very strong winds in the mountain areas too, which could also bring in maybe and the very very high elevations maybe some blizzard conditions because again we are seeing snow in montana from the very high mountains but the very big ones to occur in the late weekend so on friday we are seeing that snow over here into the british columbia area columbia area and again you guys are saying wait where's the snow trust me it's going to become a very big event here look at look at um sunday here huge amount of snow here to occur through montana washington oregon this will bring in actually very heavy snow and the first part will be in northern uh, montana of course but look how big this is it's very big system or a very big snow uh obviously widespread from all the way from canada to the northern mounds of um california near lake tahoe again uh we have billings we have bozeman we have helena all these areas in montana will be expecting a whole lot of snow and that that would definitely to continue in to possibly even come in all the way to north dakota uh areas near again near the uh areas of billings we're definitely gonna have a lot of uh, snow continue on but just look how heavy it, it will start to really become a big factor here by saturday when we really start to have that heavy heavy snow out here into the west especially out here if again the areas of the mountains of montana and idaho that's where we will start to see it continue and by sunday it really becomes widespread again affecting many big cities in the west and even bringing in some snow again still for oregon even washington again that will bring extremely heavy snow and then again, if we wait a little bit more, and if we, there's a new update, could it maybe even bring a lot more snow again, even for Nevada, California, Wyoming, Oregon, all these areas. Even, yeah, again, we're still we're seeing, we're seeing snow in the Sierra Mountains. And again, we could actually maybe have a second area, which will come maybe even uh, very, very early uh, next week. By Monday, it will continue, and then we could have a second system that could come in by October 3rd. We could have some snow again. So yeah, we're definitely gonna be seeing a lot more blue to come. And so that's the European model on weather models. Now I'm gonna be looking at tropical tidbits here. Let me actually move up since we won't see snow in Texas in New Mexico yet. So again, here's Friday. Again, we are gonna start seeing that heavy, very, very heavy snow to come in 
around about Saturday again. First, it's going to be that Mount Snow. Very early Saturday, you don't have to worry if you're in Billings, Vermont, uh, Billings or Helena. Uh, but again, by, by Sunday, that's when it becomes a very, very big threat here. Going to have incredibly heavy snow for Helena. We're going to have some snow for the National Yellowstone area. We're definitely going to have some snow come in for Bozeman, the northern areas of Idaho. Again, if you're in Boise or Idaho Falls, you guys should be good from now. Right now, again, we are going to have some snow, though, for Nevada, California, and Oregon. Again, if you're in Portland, you guys don't have to worry about that coastal area, I guess so. Yep. And then, again, that's when we have possibly could have it by Wednesday, bring in some snow for maybe even the Dakotas, Nebraska. You guys can already get snow already. And can you imagine that in October already? You guys in the plains that are always getting triple digits will be seeing possibly snow by early ne or mid next week. And again, guys, this will be a, one of the this will be the biggest snow event again we've seen so far. Obviously, not this year. We, again, this year includes January, February. But I mean, so far uh, after summer, obviously, again, it's not obviously the first of the year, but we are seeing very uh, huge amounts of snow again. We're gonna be looking at the um, snowfall totals right now here. Um, but first, we're going to be looking at the temperature here, the uh, what we're seeing the temperature-wise, because I want to, for you guys to see if you guys are wondering if it's going to be below freezing or any of that. So let me actually, I don't know why it's refreshing when I just refreshed it. I really don't know why. Okay, so if you guys are looking for the temperatures, again, these are the temperatures. Just looking, We're going to be focusing on these colors right here. These colors are below freezing. We want to focus on that. And again... We're also going to be seeing just look at te temperatures really. By Friday, we will be start to seeing these t uh, cold temperatures that are below freezing. Start to become a bit more widespread. So in Yellowstone, we'll be seeing 28 degrees. In West Yellowstone and Montana, we'll be seeing 31 degrees. But this is where it becomes very, very widespread cold. By Sundays, when we definitely, that's why we see this um, snow spread. By Sunday, we see a lot more below freezing. We're seeing 22 in the northern Idaho area. For Helena, we're seeing 25 degrees. And again, for the Sierra Mountains there, we'll be seeing just below freezing at 29, even at 32 at some point. But again, it will be the worst day for the cold. We'll actually be around possibly very, very late on Monday. We'll see 9 degrees for northern Montana. We're going to be seeing the areas near Salt Lake City there below freezing. 21 degrees for Oregon already. I'm actually honestly just stunned how we're gonna see single digits when it's or the last day of September. I know it's the north, uh, but the northern mountains. But and for Bozeman, we'll be seeing 14 degrees for the areas in the Yellowstone again, 23, and then again, it will get even colder for the areas of Wyoming. This cold air will really, really come down again. We're seeing a huge cold front here. We're going to be seeing widespread cold air to keep this warmer out here. We're going to send 12 degrees, 11 degrees, even 15 degrees. Look all the way to southern Colorado, Sierra Mountains near Lake Tahoe. We've seen 21 degrees. And then it does warm up a little bit, so that's why we, we should have a break from then to have maybe not as much snow or not such a big event as we are seeing right now to happen. Now we're going to be looking at the snowfall totals here. I really don't know why it's continuing to refresh when I've already, um, obviously already had it open. But we're going to be looking all the way into, um, so this is actually after Sunday. This is actually Tuesday. So you guys are looking for snow, uh, total. So this are the snow totals. Again, this is the European model here on weather models. And again, as you can tell, we're going to see the most amount of snow right here for northern Montana. We're going to be seeing possibly up to maybe 32 inches, maybe even just a little bit more. Right in this northern tip, that's where we're going to see the most amount of snow, up to maybe even four feet of snow. We're going to be seeing widespread totals of snow, but again, Yellowstone, the Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, you guys will be seeing about maybe ranging from probably around seven inches to maybe even a foot of snow. Again, for the near the Boise, uh, Boise area, you guys won't see that much snow. Idaho Falls, you might, you might get a little bit more than usually, obviously, Boise. And then again, for Helena, we'll be seeing possibly maybe around up to seven into the snow already. And again, for the northern part of uh, Montana, we're going to be seeing more than a foot of snow. Maybe even more than two feet of snow in these areas. Again, Sierra Mount snow will continue again for the areas of Lake Tahoe. You guys will see about maybe up to maybe three inches at most. And then again, for the Oregon areas, up to eight inches. Same thing with Washington. So we're going to have plenty of snow in these areas. Again, 
very early in the season. We're going to have blizzard conditions if these winds continue to pick up. Again, if we look at the, um, if, oh, actually, no, again, we just still have these wind issues. If we look at the home here, we are seeing wind advisories in effect for these areas in Montana because we are having wind conditions here. We are having uh, a high wind watch. So, again, we will have some wind threats that will continue to bring in possibly maybe even winter storm warnings because of these blizzard conditions. Again, guys, we're not, this is not going to just be into the snow. It's going to be feet of snow in the west and just end of September, not even the end of it really yet. So now we're going to be looking at the snowfall totals here for the tropical tidbits. Uh, they are a bit lower, but also a bit higher for some areas. Again, they are actually favoring a bit less snow here for northern Montana. They are showing, though, again, that little area in gray. We are seeing, again, up to more than two, four feet of snow right here. Again, there's no really big cities whatsoever. That's where we have basically the most mountainous areas. Again, it is showing a bit more snow out here for central uh, Idaho, up to 17 inches based on this. It's also showing a bit more snow for Hel Actually, not even a bit more. A lot more snow for Helena, actually near ranging from 12 to 20 inches. That's a big jump from around 7 the national uh, Yellowstone area you guys will be seeing around the same amount at about a foot, maybe even 20 inches maximum in the southern part of Yellowstone. Cheyenne, you guys will be seeing a bit less than a, 2 inches, less than 2 inches. Again, for western, or sorry, for eastern Montana, you guys won't see that much. It's going to be more, again, this usual amount of snow here. And these, again, we are, used, we are used to seeing snow again at this point in September here, but not usually. It's such a widespread area of snow this early in the season. Again, 17 inches for uh, Washington, up to 17 inches for Oregon. And then it actually shows a bit more snow for Lake Tahoe with the eastern part or the western part of Lake Tahoe seeing ranging from five to six inches so again very big system of widespread snow guys I will maybe have maybe one to two more updates on this and again obviously we are gonna have to honestly I'm actually very excited it is kind of reminding me of that fall and winter will be coming in no time and I'm actually getting pretty excited about this I really like focusing on the winter a lot more so guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are all so excited about the snow. And if you guys are getting snow within the next week, you guys are so lucky and enjoy the snow. And bye guys, stay safe.